Hey, some people have said to me, we're struggling with hero banners. We don't have a strong image. In fact, we don't want an image. We just want to have words. And that is okay to do, but you've got to make sure you don't use just standard kind of sized fonts, which look quite boring. So we're going to kick off with a section and it's going to be pretty standard stuff, really minimum height. I'm going to make it a VH of 100. So it kind of it fills your screen up. The column position will be in the middle. So the content will rearrange. And then we can reassess that when we get to the end. And I'm going to go to style and I'm going to give this a color and I'm going to give it a hex color of 444 six times like that. So I get a bit of a dark gray color. That's looking OK. So the first thing I'm going to do is drop in a header and I'm going to put something like a powerful. In fact, I won't do it in capital. So let's just write it normally. Powerful hero banners with text. So I've gone for Lato REM6 weight 700. I've dropped in the word hero as well. And I'm just going to hit return over here just to add in a bit of a break there. And I'm going to go for something like this powerful hero text banner. OK, so it's going to be something that's kind of in your face a little bit. Now I'm going to drop in a uh, and now I'm going to drop in a subheader. Now you could, if you want, just duplicate what you had above just so you've got it in there. Go to style. You'd obviously make this header two or, or whatever you want to do. I'm going to change this to be a railway font and I'm going to drop this down to be about 1.1.6, I think would be OK. And I'm going to go for about 500 and I'm going to give this a color now. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to pick this purple color here, which isn't too. Um, what would I say? Um, it's not contrasting very well. So I'm going to have to just increase it a little bit like that. I've just made it a little bit longer. However, Put some words, but try and keep it just on one line. It has a much powerful and a better effect when it's on one line. When it goes over onto two, it kind of removes, it turns it from a subheader into almost like a text editor widget thing, which kind of loses its effect. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that. And now I'm going to convert this to be a white text. It's the same font, Railway, but I'm going to drop this now to be about 1.3. So I've dropped it to be a 1.2. So we're getting a bit of variation over there in terms of the sizings at the moment. Now, what you will notice is this is currently a full width section. I'm going to go in and just make this to be a box and I'm going to make it for the size of my screen. I'm just going to go with a 900. OK, just so you can see it on the screen better. I am going to go over to the column bow and I am going to say that this column has um, a right margin of taking away a third of it. So what we have on our screen is like a powerful banner. We've got a bit of variation in color and then we've got some further white text. But let's add in some call to actions. So I'm going to go and grab a button. And I'm going to drop the button in over here. Now this button could be, this is where you have to think carefully now. I'm actually going to give you three call to actions. So it could be that you've got three areas of your website. It might be you might have a button for contact. You might have a button for shop. You might have a button for um, uh, services or something. So let's just call this one uh, services, for instance. And obviously you're going to have your link in there. OK, it's going to be uh, we're going to put it all to the left at the moment. We're going to go to the style of this and the color you want to be now picking is the same purple as uh, the pink that you had there. Because I've gone and modified it, I haven't got it set as my global, but I'll try and get it as close to what I think I roughly had, something like that. And you're going to obviously stylize your wording and, and make it stand out. OK, um, and I would say match the size and styling of the text above. So we had railway. You probably already set this up in your global fonts anyway. So we're going to go with 1.2 like that now. What I would say you do to really get a bit of an effect is to make that more of a square button. So what you would do is go to the button, go down to the bottom where you have padding and completely eradicate what you have. Now, bear in mind, though, there's always a little bit of padding over here. So the left and right might not match completely. So I've gone for a 30. So I'm just squaring it up a little bit. I'm now going to duplicate this button. Obviously, when you duplicate it, it goes to the bottom. So before you duplicate, Go to your button, go to advanced, go to custom, well, positioning, sorry, go to width and set it to be custom. So you're in the button, you go to advanced tab, positioning and you pick custom. Now when we duplicate it, the second one will be side by side. 
which is kind of cool. So I can go onto this button and I can say, okay, from the left, give me about uh, 40 is way too much. Let's go for 20, something like that. This now might be a button to the shop. What you want to do now is just mess around with your padding and your size of your box to match it up to what it needs to be. I'm going to go back over here and this time now what you're going to do is think of your color scheme that you had and go for a button color that kind of complements the pink color that we've got over here. And now I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate again and this button I'm now going to call uh, contact. And obviously, like we've already done on the previous one, you're going to go in and you're going to adjust your sizes. I'm going to go for a gray color, but I'm just going to make it be slightly just off gray like that, something like that. So that is like almost like a hero banner coming into effect now on your page where you've got three call to action buttons. There's no image, right? There is no image. But if you use color, and text carefully, you can create an effect on your screen. Of course, I would probably say you, I think you should still have something here, like an, a, some form of a tiny image or even an icon or something that just bobs up or, or, or comes in like a motion effect. I would still do something in my opinion, I really would. But you can get away with that as well. So you're enticing them and hopefully they're gonna click a button or they're gonna scroll down and go further. I hope this helps. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Look forward to your comments below and what you feel about that. Take care, see you soon.